when Marvel says we're we're thinking about bringing back Kingpin, you say, how, wh what was your reaction? Well, Kevin called me, so it was you know he's the one that told me, and I, um, as you can imagine, I was very happy about it and excited about it, and because I love playing this part so much, so that was my reaction. And in terms of just like, what were the discussions in terms of how Kingpin should be brought back into the MCU? Well, it was it was going to be the same Kingpin that it was after the blip that he had lost some of his power and he needed to get his city back. And that's that's the way I approached it. And as far as the character himself, that was the storyline. And as far as the character himself, that it was the I I used everything that I used when I did it for Daredevil. It's like the same emotional life, the same character, you know, everything is based, whether it's joy that's happening or sadness or frustration or anger, whatever is going on with Kingpin, it's all through his emotional life as a child. That's a big question that I think I have too, is we've seen you as Kingpin and Daredevil. Are, do they exist separately or do you see them as one? No, are these two they separate? don't exist except they're the same person. From my point of view, like a lot of the Avengers stuff, um, a lot of the MCU stuff that they tried to connect as many dots to the original canon as they can, you know, and some dots are just not possible to connect. And that's what we've done with connecting to Daredevil and vice versa, is that there's some dots are connected. Like in the Hawkeye show, Fisk is obviously physically stronger and can take more physical abuse. But the key to his being an interesting character in my mind will always be the fact that he has this emotional life that grounds him, that makes everything work as far as I'm concerned. We can sell that character in so many facets, the story-wise we can sell it, if we keep him based in that emotional life. And and I know that the the writers and the producers and everybody involved in the Hawkeye show was all, we were all on the same page about that. So it was, it was I have to say that they're very collaborative people and and not only to mention awesome people, very nice, but just as what for, you know, the producers, like I said, the writers and the directors were all just thrilled to work with. So we kept along those lines and I think that's what will continue to make the character interesting if, if there's anything next for me to do. Yeah. yeah, that's that's my next question. I don't know if you can answer, but uh, there was a big strong reaction to the end of the episode of whether or not Kingpin yeah. is dead. I don't think he is at all. But is there anything you can say about that? I hope he's not dead. You know, <laughs> you know, I feel the same way everybody else does about him. You know, he, he never died in the comics. You know, so, but, you know, I hoped that Daredevil wouldn't end. You know, so it was. It's like that. I, you know, it's like, I think it's very clear. I think the fans know, and I think that Marvel knows, Kevin knows that I want to continue playing this character. And because I feel like there's, and I've told them and him that there's so many more facets of this character to explore. And he, he knows that I feel that way. And I think that, you know, that I'll, you know, I'll, I'll either do it or I won't. I, you know, it's like, that's the business that I'm in. Well, welcome back and Merry Christmas. That's my time, but such a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, and you. Bye. Um, Merry Christmas.